Happy anniversary! So it's Max and I's anniversary today. We've been married for a total of four years. We've been married four years and we've been together four and a half years. Yes, that means we dated for six months before we tied the knot. Six months is a very short time. Sometimes I can't even wrap my head around the fact that I'm already married. And now here I am, fourth year. As exciting as today is, we've been doing a lot of stuff recently. So we kind of just want to take it easy day we're gonna take a chill pill i just got an idea of like something really cute that we could do together okay so max and i started dating in 2018 and it was a couple of months i think after call me by your name came out so i was like at the peak of my obsession right when we started dating i would read the book to max and then we would watch the movie together and it was like this really sweet memory that we have and we always talk about it so maybe what we can do today is we can like watch Call Me By Your Name together. I think that'll be sweet. Unfortunately though, Call Me By Your Name right now is not available on Netflix Canada. It is, however, in Netflix Korea. So let me put you on to the best thing that's ever come to the internet, which is Surfshark VPN. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this portion of the video. It would be doing like my money a disservice if I didn't use VPN for Disney Plus, Netflix, or whatever streaming services. So most of the time, the films and TV shows that I want to watch aren't available in the country that I'm in, which is Canada. But with a VPN, which is short for Virtual Private Network, and just one click away, my internet can suddenly access whichever country server I want. Because of this, I've been able to watch whatever I want. Also, it's really good to have like a VPN on when you're in public Wi-Fi to secure information because shit is sketchy these days. So just get one account and use it on all of your devices and then share with all of your friends and they're gonna worship you. You're gonna be so popular. The price of Surfshark right now with our promo code MAXYAS is only $2.69 Canadian, which is 83% off their regular price and you get three months free. So don't forget promo code MAXYAS for Surfshark VPN and you can use the link in the description below. I'm finally gonna wear my special shoe today for our anniversary because what better time it is to feel special if not on our anniversary day right which is really ironic because max absolutely hates these shoes little update on mr bunny still not hung yet and it's been over like 10 business days trying to figure out if this would look cuter with a hat because it's so windy outside good morning morning I think uh, today is a windy day, so we're gonna have no other choice but having maybe a bad air day. Just deal with it. Yeah, but I'm like, should I wear a hat? No, you're cute like this. You know what we should do today? What? We should go shop for a plant to put in the corner of the room over there, in which that plant, through the years, will grow through our love. Have you shown them what I've built for you yesterday? Ta-da! So now, Yas can do pull-ups here. Okay, that better not be my anniversary gift because I'm gonna cry. What if it is? <laughs> hey, come and show them how it's done. <laughs> Two, three. Well, I'm actually really surprised that it didn't break the door. Fuck off. <laughs> you calling me fat? <laughs> well, actually, I was literally joking about the gift thing. I'm not asking for a gift. I'm happy with just getting a plant for over there. <laughs> what did you get me? Nothing. Your birthday was literally like last week. So I didn't get you anything. I didn't plan anything. You know it's your dad's anniversary? Yeah? Oh, so sweet. He's telling us happy anniversary. Why are you taking me to the parking lot? I'm keeping you shield from the wind. Now we're walking on the ground to go to the restaurant. Wait, you booked a res uh, restaurant for our anniversary? No, I haven't booked. We're just showing up. Oh. But is it somewhere special? Well, we've never been before, so we're gonna try it out. No, but again, like, I don't, I don't care if you didn't book anything special, because we did a lot of stuff last week. Mm -hmm. You're special. Yeah, just spending time with you is special. Mm -hmm. Can you believe? Four years married already. No, I can't. Flat. Four years is so long. <laughs> This looks like it's covered in cum. It's mayo. So did you have a good lunch? Yeah. 
Let's go look at plants. Uh, there's one more stop I want to make before we go to plants. It's a surprise. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it a present? Uh, we'll see. I just ordered something and I need to go and pick it up. This day just got a little more exciting. And I'm having second thought now that I know that I don't have any present. What do you... <laughs> <laughs> but knowing you, the present that you're getting is probably more like a present for us. Like, I really don't think that you actually got me like a me present. Ah, let's find out. Wait, what is it? <laughs> Try to guess. <laughs> is it a... Uh... Perfume. You have too many of those. If I guess it right, would you actually tell me if I guessed it right? No. <laughs> then what's the point of guessing? But it seems like we're headed downtown, which is a good sign. Are we headed downtown? Ooh, we're going downtown. The anticipation is killing me. I'm getting blue balls. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what's the surprise. What is it? We're getting a puppy. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you just got me so excited. No, it's not. That's kind of a bad idea for you to do. Because now whatever it is, I'm going to be disappointed that it's not a puppy. You think? Yeah. I think you'll be satisfied okay. with my present. I hope so. Or I can always return it. No. Are we going where I think I'm, we're going? My Lance, where do you think you're going? I don't want to say it because I don't want to jinx it but my heart is beating as fast as a 14-year-old watching girl on girl porn right now. What? There it is, downtown. Do you want me to bring the camera or do you want it to be an us thing? You can bring it, it's fine. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it. I can go there. Uh, he's fucking with me. I know he's fucking with me. He's fucking with me for sure. Okay, the I can so much. There you go. Open it. This is so awkward to do in public. What do you think it is? What is it? It's so cute! Is that the one you like, the one you wanted, maybe? This is pretty... Uh... Are you flustered? So cute. She's so cute. Do you like your new bracelet? I love it. I love it so much when, you know, people I love get me jewelry, because I, I treasure that, like, for the rest of my life. Don't lose that one. I won't. <laughs> I promise. So our goal today here is to find something tall that looks like a tree that's not too wide. It has to be just right. Like me? You. Sometimes I wonder what people think when they see us do shit like that. Oh, this place is so cool. Some options that we saw, but they're smaller than the one we saw. They look enormous. What are you talking about? They're taller than you. Yeah, but our ceiling is so high, so they're gonna look so small. I'm George of the Jungle. So our option right now is this olive tree. Oh my god, how cool would it be to have an olive tree like in the corner of your living room? I originally wanted like a fake olive tree, but people on TikTok tell me that they're really chuggy and that I should get a real one. I actually really like that one over there. Wait, let's see. Isn't that cool? It's way too big. It man. makes orange. Tangerine. <laughs> okay, super exciting. I think we have a lot of options. We're considering getting the olive tree for the living room because it's like giant. Oh my god, I just I feel like my dream is like coming true. This is literally the vision that I had. My gay vision is coming alive. Fauna trees. Guys, it's happening. <laughs> we got two plants. I think we went overboard. It's like going to an adoption center and then finding twins. You can't take one without the other. Okay, now we're gonna go find pots for our new little friends, our new children. This is like as exciting as getting a puppy.
Hey bro. What's up, bro? Thanks for the anniversary gift, bro. You're welcome, bro. Do I get anniversary sex? I mean, do I get anniversary making love session? Have you been vaccinated for the smallpox? No. I'll give you sex anyway. <laughs> no, I just want to cuddle. I actually can't believe that I've never showed you guys this. Really? Our wedding Polaroids, we never showed it on YouTube. This is it, y'all. Oh, some of them I've probably shared on like Instagram or whatever, but I haven't looked at these in a while. This was right after the ceremony. Look how dapper we look. I was so skinny. You were. <laughs> I still fit in the shirt, actually. Do you? That's the one I wore for my birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's... Our friend Ifan, she basically like helped us do everything. She got the wedding cake, she booked like the wedding dinner place and invited everyone. When you arrive at the city hall, you have to do like paperwork. And for some reason we want to document that. So then there's this photo <laughs> of assigning papers and doing random shit. And then this was the ceremony itself. Ah. Nothing too fancy, no, but to the point. Yes. Do you remember your feeling on the wedding day? When we took this photo in particular, okay? When we were in front of the, what do you call it? The wedding officiate person? Mm -hmm. Do I you remember know. your feeling? I was just very happy and nervous and butterfly and it went by so fast. It did, it went by really fast. I just remember thinking like, what the fuck? Am I really doing this? Yeah, like this is actually happening. You can see in my face. How did you feel? I just remembered feeling like, whoa. It's like going on a roller coaster ride, but like never coming down. Cause they ask you like, do you take this man as your husband? You're like, I do. It never comes down. Cause like it keeps going up and up. Cause you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Here it goes from there. It yeah. starts, that's the start of a new life. Exactly. You know how in fairy tales, um, the ending is usually like when they get married, they find their like Prince Charming and then it's like done. Happy ending forever. Obviously real life was not like that. So I feel like inside I was feeling very unprepared and like I didn't know what to expect afterwards. Especially because I don't know any one of my friends who were married at that point. I think the difference from that point on, on is that whatever stress or whatever other obstacle you're gonna have in your life, well, you're gonna deal with it at two. Yeah, that's true. You're, you're gonna go through it together. Mm -hmm. And you also get dick every anytime you want. Mm -hmm. And then this was at the dinner. Max, of course, always being weird. I never changed. You, yeah, you never did. And then this is us again. More wedding photos of the dinner. That's Max's friend, Chris, who now lives in Japan. It's me holding. What was I holding? Oh my God, we still have that. We had that on our cake. And this is our butts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we went karaoke after the wedding. We got so drunk and had karaoke night. And this is Max singing Under the Sea. That's like his go-to karaoke song. Mm -hmm. We used to take so many Polaroids. We don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to finish it, finish up the album. We need to have like another wedding with or without each other. What? <laughs> <laughs> This is not bad. Hey, Costco wine. Mm -hmm. Costco wine is where it's at. Today was unexpectedly a very special day. You're welcome. It's like days like this where you you will remember for a long time. Do you like your new friend? Do you like your new friend? Mm -hmm. So you guys see this laundry hamper? I want something like this. Obviously like the right size, but I'm gonna put the pot in it. So it's gonna look so like homey and cozy. Isn't this cute? Little rattan moment. And this is the olive tree. Isn't she pretty? The only thing that I'm really concerned about though is we have another olive plant, like a really small one that we bought like two years ago. It started losing leaves on the lower branches. So I'm scared that it's gonna lose a lot of leaves and it's just gonna look bald. But you know what? Even the baldies deserve love too. I hope you love our new plants. Please comment a good name for them. Thank you all for joining us for another week. Let's make them kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> us next week. Why next week? Bye y'all. 
Bye. Cheers.